everybody and welcome to video blog number four. Today we come to you from this lovely embankment somewhere outside of Timmins. Now the reason we're at the top of this embankment is we want to calculate the velocity of my potato gun. So if we know the height of the embankment and the distance the potato travels using a physics formula we can calculate the velocity of the potato. This equals 6.21 meters, and that's how it's done. That was amazing! So here's the diagram of our hill, and we calculated the values of the height and its length using our other diagram. So to find the time it takes to fall this distance, we can use this formula here, t equals plus or minus the square root of 2 delta y over acceleration in the y. So when you add those together and divide by 1.3, you get 27.5 meters per second. Now multiply that by 1 kilometer over 1,000 meters, and divide it by one hour over 3,600 seconds, we calculate the final velocity of the spear to be 99.0 kilometers per hour, neglecting air resistance and wind. So factoring in those, we can probably safely estimate that the spear is traveling over 100 kilometers per hour. Cool beans. Here is your potato cannon target of the day, Nolan Sarlo, the founder of the blog. Well, that worked reasonably well.